Well, I hope I help you just a little bit. And I hope that, you know, some of what I said to you, uh, if you forget it, you've got a county extension director here who will be happy to follow up with you uh, and, and share this with you. Now, at your house, if you want to practice and play with it, most of you will have a refrigerator with some trays to it, sections to it. You can get your little Boston butt or something, and you can try it yourself in your refrigerator. That way it's cool enough, you ain't going to have spoilage and can't, nothing can get in there. Just remember, though, that if you put it in there, you need to put something on the bottom where that cut of meat won't be flat on the bottom because as the moisture comes out, uh, that slime will get on your stuff. And you don't want it to be, you want it to up above that. Uh, the last thing I would tell you about how old people used to do something and people laugh at you, but everything old is not bad. Amen. Okay? Uh, those pine needles was put there for a reason. <laughs> if you kill hogs today, put your pine needles down, they are green. Three days later, if that salt's working, they're going to turn brown. If they're still green three days later, you need to check your meat. Something is wrong. Your salt is not working because those needles are going to change. People, this is something been going on for years. This is proven. It's not going to change the flavor to me, but it is a tool that works. I said the last thing, I'm going to say something else. I guess I talk too much. <laughs> but 